So I don't want to be accused of infighting or anything like that. But I've, I've had a lot of feelings since, uh, since Saturday, since everything went down in Utrecht. There was a lot of information that was coming in. I was a, meeting a lot of people and I'm still trying to figure out kind of form opinions on everything. But um, somebody mentioned to me that they really admired like Kathleen Stock. And I was never really invested in Kathleen Stock. Like I appreciated her as a as an intellectual person who, you know, and I had respect for her for what she was going through. But I don't think she has a lot of integrity. Um, and I'll say I'll say this. I know my integrity is that I support women. That is my fight in this. I don't feel like I have to pander to anybody who says that they're trans just because they're on our side there is a man called Fionn Orlan Orlander now he goes along with our our rhetoric that he is a man but he's still like heavily invested in changing himself as much as he can um into like he had a fucking uh GoFundMe or whatever up for like facial feminization surgery and we had this sad fucking spiel about like oh I know that like there are other people who have like bigger problems but I just know and she like she was like of course I'll of course I'll support you and she like donated to that and um I tried to like say something to her on Twitter about it and she blocked me instantly I was just like no fucking check yourself like you know what I mean I can't you can call me anti-trans all you want. And if that just means that I don't support what you do financially, fine, then I am anti-trans. I'm not against your existence. I just don't support it. Um, I don't want you to disappear off the face of the earth or anything like that. I would actually just rather you didn't participate in whatever this fucking cult is. So for Kathleen Stock to fund this dude's facial feminization surgery openly no fuck off sorry not when my friend had to put up a gofundme to get a wheelchair accessible um bus for her for her son who has severe disability like no just no i know what i'm about and i'm not about supporting vanity so it just, it just reeked to me of like, I am desperate to show that I care about these people and that, and it was just, no, don't fucking kowtow. Don't kowtow. So I don't really give a shit that she's written a book. I'm not going to read it. I don't really care what she's doing in her life. If she's fighting the good fight and she's on the side of women and fighting for that, that's fine. But I actually want to be around women who have integrity and who aren't going to pander. And I'm sorry. I really like Menno. I really, really like Menno. But, God, women, you have to just stop flocking to a man once you see them. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, it was, um, I don't know. He's just a person. <laughs> Total. F there was some fangirling going on there. I was like, come on, you know. Men, I was great and everything, but who are you there for? What are you there for? There's actually, you can hear me video, call uh, uh, on video with somebody. It was like, is that Menno? And I hadn't noticed him and I thought, oh, he looks quite familiar, but he looks very different to what he does in his, in his videos. I've never seen him from this side before. But um, no, it was just weird to see this circle of women just around this one guy. I was like, uh, y'all could have been making connections with one another. I thought that's what we were there for. Anyway, there, um, there is one woman, I won't say her name, just in case. Well, I don't know, I think she wanted to be seen. We, we both have Irish names. Um, Saoirse. 
she was the second person I or she was the first person I met that day who was like I have a disorder of sex development and we kind of had a Dutch and English conversation I'm very very sure that she's Dutch though with a with an Irish name but uh, she told me that she had Turner syndrome and um, that meant that uh, her ovaries never developed and um, yeah but she was like I'm still a woman <laughs> I'm still clearly a woman and uh, she's right she is she is still 100% a woman um, yeah so to see the to see the other side like holding up this banner that had an intersex symbol on it it's like no you've just fucking you don't care about people who are intersex it's just a we're right and you're wrong thing stop hiding behind your fucking rainbows i see right through it i see right fucking through it does anybody know that like the nazi symbol the fucking uh, swastika that was used as like a good symbol for years until the nazis fucking appropriated it it was, I think it was like, it was uh, flipped around. I think there was like dots in it or something as well. But it was, it wasn't ever a symbol of hate. It was turned into a symbol of hate. So yeah. It's so sad. It's so sad what they've done to the rainbow. Anyway. <laughs>